What do French fries, ice cream, and mac and cheese have in common? It's thought they were all brought to America by James Hemings, the first American to learn classic French cuisine. Born in Virginia in 1765, James and his siblings, including his sister, Sally Hemings, grew up enslaved. His mother was an enslaved woman named Elizabeth, and his father was their owner, John Wales, a wealthy planter, whose daughter Martha married founding father Thomas Jefferson in 1772. When Jefferson was appointed commerce minister to France in 1784, he decided to take the then 19-year-old Hemings with him to train as his personal chef. In Paris, the culinary capital of the world, Hemings was apprenticed to some of the finest chefs the city had to offer and quickly mastered the art of French cooking. Although still enslaved, he was made head chef at Jefferson's home on the Champs-Élysées, where he managed a team of white servants and kitchen staff, developed a new style of cooking that involved both French and American ingredients, and was even paid a wage, something that the vast amount of enslaved Americans would never experience. Having returned to the United States, Hemings continued to cook for Jefferson, and many of his culinary creations caught on, becoming classics until this day. Promised his freedom if he agreed to train another enslaved how to cook in his place, Hemings finally tasted freedom before he sadly passed away aged just 36. How have chefs from other cultures shaped American cuisine? <laughs>